Hey guys, um, so we're going to working on the P pump 6.7 again. Um, I actually, I finally got the cam bearing, so I'm gonna install the cam bearing while you guys watch. Um, I got the oil, I'm gonna put the oil squirters in, which I sh probably should have done before I put the girdle on. But it's not a huge deal, we can get in there still. Um, so I'm gonna do that tonight. Um, I, I gotta do another video um, for one of the, one of our subscribers asked me a bunch of questions. It's just easier for me to do a video for them. Um, and then uh, tomorrow, I don't know, I'd like to do some stuff, but I got us some stuff to do in the shop. So we might do a little fab video or something tomorrow because I'm building one of the cranes for the shop. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll see what, uh, what happens tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure. I'd like to do some stuff on some engines, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But is, we'll go from there. So anyways, this is the tools. Uh, you guys seen this earlier in the, in the series here. Um, but now what it is, is that we're gonna, so we're gonna take this one, it's gonna, I'm gonna put it down inside the block and then the other one, which is this one, which it just has the cam bearing sitting on it. And then we're gonna put the cam bearing in. Um, yeah, so it's not rocket science, but I'll show you guys here and uh, we'll go from there. And for you guys that wanna do this stuff, you know, like you could make these tools um, relatively easy. It's not rocket science to do this stuff if you want to do it. So like I said, I marked the bearing. I'm going to mark the bearing so that we know where our hole is. I just like to mark it out across right the edge and everything. The block still has that mark on it that we put on it earlier. Now this is a lot easier when there's nothing in your way, but it's not too bad to do even with the girdle in the way. So you just slide that in there. And like I said, all that back, that back one does is just to, uh, it just retains to make sure that you're straight when you're putting it in. Then you just want to just double check to make sure that your oil hole lines up, which we're good. And that's it. So it's pretty easy if you have the tool. I actually probably will, I, there again with all the other stuff that I want to build, I'm probably actually going to do some of this stuff um, because it's uh, handy, like nobody makes one for Cummins, just specifically. So this is a pretty easy way to do it. So we'll probably make something up, but that'll be later down the road. So oil squirters, there's, you can buy metal ones of these um, and they came on the 305 horse engines, um, common rail stuff. I honestly have never seen one of these plastic ones fail unless they've been hit by something. I know I prefer the metal ones, but I don't actually have a pair of metal ones to put in this engine. So I'm gonna use a set of these. But something that you do wanna look at is in here, you wanna make sure there's no cracking or funny looking marks. Cause if there is, um, you know, you don't wanna use them. So these ones we've already cleaned, but what do you do? I take an air blower and blow air in here and make sure that, you know, there's no garbage or anything stuck in there. Um, because if you do, you'll scorch a piston. These ones, like I said, have already been inspected. We know that they're good, um, you know, so I can just put them in. But I gotta get them in there because now, like I said, the girl in the way. Not that much fun, but I got in a rush. Or I got in a rush and there was a couple guys here when I was doing it, working on it to start with and got sidetracked. So my own fault. So these are the banjo bolts for that style. Um, you know, it's just nothing special. I do put a drop of Loctite on them. Um, there again, I've never had one fall out, but better safe than sorry the way that I look at it. 
So usually putting these things down in here are, is actually really easy when the girl's not in the way. But I do it with a magnet nonetheless. Um, well, if there's no crankshaft and then you can just reach in there, but. Um, so all I gotta do is for when you're doing it like this, you guys will be able to I mean, you guys can see down in there or not but basically I just take that on on the magnet whoop don't drop it not that it makes a difference but Sneak it down in there. Get it sitting where you want. And then all I do is just, the tool that I'm using to put the bolt in, I just hold that down and then you're good to go. So put the bolt in, same idea. I just put it on the end of the, on the end of it and you get it started in the hole. And you can just, you usually can get them, um, you usually can get a half or three quarter turn on it so that you can get the tool out, right? So the torque spec on these things um, is not very much. It's actually, it's 133 inch pounds. So they're not super, you don't have to go crazy tight on them. Um, but it's, uh, you, that's, I, I like doing the Loctite till the bolt can't walk itself out. Um, and then, you know, obviously if it's torqued, they don't fall out either, but. I just, uh, I, I, lock, I like Loctiting stuff. And like I said, this is a much easier process if you uh, do it when there's nothing in your way, but you know. Not perfect, like anybody else. So something I did want to mention to you guys, um, I had a few people ask about the sanding block and I am building, um, I'm building, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change up the design a little bit, make it a little bit nicer, um, but I'm going to build uh, 10 of them to start with. Um, so if any of you guys are interested in sanding blocks um, for doing decks and, and uh, blocks, um, let me know, you can let me know in the comments, you can shoot me a message on Instagram, uh, you can shoot me a message on the Facebook page. Um, just let me know. And, I, you, and when I have them for sale, I'll do a video um, when I get them ready. And uh, I will uh, do a, uh, you know, a post about it and stuff as well. So you guys will be able to see that stuff. So anyways, I'm not going to bore you guys watching me put all these in. Um, you know, it's, you do one, you've basically seen them all. You just do it over and over and over and over again. Make sure you don't break them. So I will cut it off here. Um, for this one, for now anyways, we will, uh, we will, I'll be working on this a bunch next week. We're gonna get the pistons in it, the camshaft in it, uh, the stage four camshaft we're putting in it. Um, Probably put the gear, no, sorry, I can't put the front gear train on yet. Um, but anyways, we'll be doing a bunch of work on this next week. The pistons are supposed to be here for the uh, 12 valve P-pump build. So that's cool, we can get, I basically, the only thing I'm waiting for is pistons. As soon as we have the pistons for that, we can get that engine completely together. Um, less uh, a few things, because I'm gonna have some stuff powder coated and um, ceramic coated for it, uh, because that's got a special home. Um, and as soon as I get that one done, um, you know, then we'll, we can get on to the next project. As soon as we have this one and that one done, we can get on to the next project and I got to get working on the, uh, the short box build here sooner than later, or we're going to not have a, uh, we're not going to have a, um, a, a truck to go drag. Well, I'll have the drag truck, but another truck to go drag racing, drag racing with. So anyways, we're going to cut it off there. Uh, please like the video. Um, you've got anybody that would like to see it, share, you know, share my, my stuff. And I appreciate everybody watching. I'll uh, catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys.